Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to our today's lesson. Remember this is Manifested Online Classes. And our topic is chemical families and patterns in properties. This is chemistry form two. My name is Mwane Kinyaga. And maybe to do a recap of the previous lesson. In the previous lesson, we were discussing the chemical properties or the reaction between alkali metals and chlorine gas. Where we say that alkali metals react with chlorine, leading to formation of chlorides. Lithium reacts with chlorine, leading to formation of lithium, lithium chloride, sodium reacts with chlorine gas, leading to formation of sodium chloride, and potassium reacts with chlorine gas leading to formation of potassium chloride. Remember again these reactions we said they should take place in a fume chamber or in an open place. And we say that this is because chlorine gas gas is poisonous. Chlorine gas is poisonous. Therefore, it may affect your respiratory system. So, you should ensure that you don't come into contact with chlorine gas. Again, we also mentioned that chlorine, sorry, potassium is the most reactive, followed by sodium and lithium is the least reactive. And he said it is because the atomic size of potassium is too large and therefore losing one electron from the outermost energy level is so easy because that one electron is loosely held by the nucleus. So if you compare the electrons, I showed you the configurations. Sodium 2, 8, 1, and potassium 2, 8, 8, 1. So this one electron, that's what we are talking about. That this electron is far away from the nucleus. It's loosely held. And that's why it is so easy to lose it compared to the one electron in sodium and lithium. That is what we learned in the previous lesson. So ensure you... Remember that very well, and especially writing correct chemical equations. In this lesson, I want us now to discuss the similarity of ions and formula of some compounds. Similarity of ions and formula of some compounds. Therefore, we want to look at the similarity of the formula of some of the compounds of alkali metals and how the ions are. And I'm going to use a table, a table form to, to show that. Then these compounds will have three compounds. One will have the hydroxides, oxides, and also chlorides. So this table will have the metal ion. have the hydroxide so with that table then you have the three metal ions ions remember we said that this are this is what is formed when an atom loses an electron like when lithium loses one electron from the outermost energy level, then 
it will be lithium ion then with the configuration of two when sodium loses the one electron from the outermost energy level then it will be sodium ion with the configuration of two eight then when potassium loses the one electron from the outermost energy level then it will be potassium ion with a configuration of two eight eight Therefore, these are ions. Remember again, we said that it is positive because the number of electrons, they are, they are less compared to the number of protons in the nucleus. And that's why they have a positive charge. And therefore, there's also a change in the electron configuration. If you are writing the hydroxides of these metal ions, lithium lithium hydroxide will be like this lithium hydroxide that will be the formula of lithium hydroxide that group one elements or alkali metals are valency one therefore if they are valency one then this hydroxide radical is also valency one and therefore, the formula will be like this. Then because all the alkali metals are valency 1, then sodium hydroxide will also be like this. Then potassium hydroxide like that. Therefore, there is a similarity in the hydroxides because all of them are valency 1 and therefore their formulas will be like this we go on to the next compound the next compound is oxide we want to write the oxides of these metals lithium lithium is valency one oxygen is valency two so this is valency one Remember again valency, this is the number of electrons lost or gained to acquire a stable electron configuration. Alkali metals are valency one because they form ions by losing one electron in their outermost energy level as we have seen in the electron configuration. Then oxygen is valency two because it gains two electrons acquire a stable electron configuration of 2, 8. And therefore, the valency of oxygen is 2. So valency is basically the number of electrons lost or gained to acquire a stable electron configuration. And a stable electron configuration can either be 2, 2, 8, or 2, 8, 8. Any element without this electron configuration will only look for or will only acquire this configuration by either gaining of electrons, that is for nonmetals, or losing the outermost electrons for the metals. But because these are alkali metals, they are going to form ions by losing the one electron they have in their outermost energy level. Therefore, if this is valency 1 and this is valency 2, then when you interchange the valencies, then whatever we are going to have will be lithium oxide. Then just drop the 2. We don't write 1 because 1 just means it is one atom. And therefore, the formula of lithium oxide will be like that. Therefore, lithium oxide. If it is sodium, Again, still, sodium is valency 1. So it's just valency 1. And oxygen is valency 2. So valency 1, valency 2, you interchange the valencies, then you'll get sodium, sodium oxide. This is something, again, we did in the previous topic about writing chemical formulas. Again, valencies are of great importance when you want to write correct chemical 
formulas. And therefore, the formula of sodium oxide should be like this. Lastly, we have potassium. Potassium is also valency 1 and oxygen is valency 2. When you interchange the valences again, you get potassium, potassium oxide. This is the formula of potassium oxide because potassium is valency 1, oxygen is valency 2. When you interchange the valences, that is the formula of the compound you are getting. So if you look at those oxides of those elements, there is a similarity between them. Remember, our point of discussion is similarity of ions. All of them, they have a charge of one, a charge, just a, a single positive charge, because all of them, they form ions by losing a single electron in their outermost energy level. Again, the hydroxides, the formula of the hydroxides, these are the compounds. Then lithium, there's a similarity between, there's a similarity between the three, that is lithium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, and potassium hydroxide, because all of them, again, they have valency one, and therefore, the hydroxides they are going to form will be similar. Go to oxides that all of them still have valency 1, and oxygen is valency 2, and therefore the formula of the compounds you are going to get will be like that. And the last is chloride. Then chloride, chlorine is an element in group 7 of the periodic table. So if we have lithium, lithium and chlorine, Lithium and chlorine. Lithium is in group 1. Chlorine is in group 7. Therefore, chlorine gains one electron to acquire stable electron configuration, and lithium loses one electron to acquire stable electron configuration. And therefore, each is having valency 1. So if each is having valency 1, therefore, if you interchange the valences, it will be lithium chloride and therefore the formula is lithium chloride so the same thing is going to happen for sodium that sodium is valency one chloride is also valency one therefore you'll have sodium chloride potassium will behave the same way each is valency one then when you interchange still well, you have potassium chloride. And therefore, the chloride of sodium, the formula is this. Then potassium chloride, the formula is like that. So again, there is a similarity between the three of them. And therefore, you need to understand that valences are of great importance. These are alkali metals, and alkali metals only have one electron in their outermost energy level. That one electron is what is used in chemical reactions. Therefore, lithium reacts with chlorine, leading to formation of lithium chloride. Sodium reacts with chlorine, leading to formation of sodium chloride. And potassium reacts with chlorine gas, leading to formation of potassium chloride. And therefore, this is how the metal ion, metal ions of group 1 elements or alkali metals, their hydroxides, their oxides, and their chlorides should look, should look like. And therefore, there is a similarity between the ions and the formulas because ions have a single charge a single positive charge, then the compounds again, their valency, the valency of these metals is one, then the compounds you are forming, they are almost, they are similar in, they are similar in a way. Therefore, that is, that brings us to the end of our lesson today.
But before that, I will leave you with the assignment. And the assignment is... Write the formula of hydroxides, oxides, and chlorides of lithium, sodium, and potassium. Ensure that you have done that assignment before we meet in the next lesson, which we are going to discuss the uses of alkali metals. Meet you in the next lesson. See you then. Thank <music> you.